Mike, you see the words in big, bold letters, danger and warning right through those doors. That's where the, most of the fire damage is from yesterday, and it's also where fire crews have been in and out of all day trying to determine what caused yesterday's devastating fire. Now, these doors are actually the exact same doors people have been coming up to all day trying to get inside. Residents were evacuated yesterday without having a chance to grab any of their belongings, and they've been coming here to these doors today to do just that. Now, most of them, they don't have any of their clothes. They don't have any of their makeup. They don't have any of their memories to bring to the new facilities they've been relocated to. And Elam officials say it's not possible for them to get inside yet. Yeah, as soon as we have the opportunity to, we will go in and retrieve and bag stuff and look at what is retrievable, what's salvageable, and we will include communication to families at that time as well. And that is a question and concern some families have had as well, that what is the stuff, what's going to happen to my stuff, but we are working on that and hoping to get to that as soon as possible. Now, I talked with one resident today, and he said that he and his wife, they were the last two people to be relocated out of here yesterday. He says they didn't get out of here until after 10 o'clock. And he says by the time they finally had a chance to catch their breath, they didn't go to sleep until after 2 a.m. He says his wife is finally getting her bearings and getting adjusted to their no new home, which he says luckily is at a facility here in town. Elam officials say some people had to be relocated to other places in Mayville, Valley City, and Halstead. But again, Mike, the best news of the week is there was not a single injury. Everybody is safe. Everybody is relocated. It's going to take some time to get adjusted, but everybody is safe and unharmed. For now, reporting live in South Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. All right. Thanks, Bailey. And tonight